how to wire a Nest learning thermostat. My name's Alan Hart, and today I'm gonna to show you how to wire a Nest learning thermostat. I was asked if I could do a video on how to wire onto a Wiesman 100 boiler. I've got a Wiesman 111 here, and I was asked if I could wire it on the standard on-off connections. So that's, that's what I'll do in this video. So I've got my Nest. I've got a Nest stand for this job. I've got my wire and it's five core and it's heat resistant, 0.75. Always remember, if you're gonna do any sort of electrics, do all your electrical checks and make sure that you're competent to do so. If you're gonna take a boiler case off on, the, on a boiler, um, if you're breaking the combustion seal by taking the case off, which you will be doing with this boiler, then you must be gas safe registered or you must be competent to do so. So that's my disclaimer out of the way. Let's uh, let's have a look at the nest to start with. So we've got this nest learning thermostat. I'll just open the box. It's got a little uh, tag on it there. I'm just gonna quickly, I'm not gonna teach you how to suck eggs with this. This is So that's your heat link and there's a little screw under there. Just open that. And that shows you all your wiring inside there. We'll just go over that in a minute. And then if we have a look in here, the most important thing of all, instructions. So always look at your instructions, look at your wiring diagrams and make sure that you're wiring it correctly. So I'm just going to remove the case now on this boiler. First of all, I'm going to isolate the electrics on it. I'll take out the fuse on it, which on this boiler will be a 3 amp fuse. And then I'll take the case off, do all my electrical checks on it as well. Just got two screws on the bottom of here which I'm going to take out and I'll take the case off. The fuse on this has been removed, but never, never take that as a given that the boiler is now isolated. Always protect yourself and always do your electrical checks. I'm getting really quick at taking these cases off now. <laughs> um, this, the combustion cover on the 111 is behind here. So on this particular boiler, if you're an electrician, um, you could work on this and you wouldn't have to go into the combustion cover. On the normal 100 series, then you'd need to take the combustion cover off um, to get into where the wiring is. So you'd have to be obviously competent with gas or gas safe registered etc to do that what we'll do now i'll have a look in here i'll show you the link where we're going to connect the nest thermostat into on the wiesman boiler we've just got a couple of clips here one on this side one on this side and this lifts down to take this cover off this is where the electrics are we've got a clip here we've got a clip here and then we've got two clips on the side as well and then this cover just lifts off and then we can see in here we've got all of the electrical connections in here if we have a look here the number one and the L and this wire these two wires here this is the link so normally that would have a black piece of wire in there and that would just be a link in there um, and what you do you take that link out and that's the bit you would wire 
into the nest. And then if we have a look on the actual nest heat link itself, if we have a look there, the first one, N, which is neutral, so that's where this blue wire is going to go. And then L is live. So that's just as permanent live and neutral. And then the link from the boiler will go in these here, one, two, and three. And then what we need to do, if we have a look at the installation instructions for the type of boiler that we're installing. So we'll wire this as a combi boiler for now. And that's the boiler there. And we can see we need to wire it into number two and number three. So number two is the common, and then number three is the switch back. So that we know on here, we're gonna wire it into the number two and the number three. If you find my videos useful, please have a look in my community section and add a donation. Um, I know some creators ask for donations for themselves. Um, I just like to donate to my chosen charity. Um, if we have a look at the heat link, I've put the heat link here behind me. So I'll show you that now. I've done that away from the boiler and closer to the house so that they don't have a problem with losing signal. This is a little bit awkward now because we're up a ladder. But as you can see there now, we've got us neutral there and we've got us live. So they're just as permanent, they're, they're only giving us a live feed to feed this heat link. And then these two wires here, number two and number three, these go back to the boiler into that link that would be in the boiler that we'd normally take out. And then we've just got an earth there. On this particular boiler, we're not gonna be using any of these other connections. But this here is T1 and T2. If you have a look at them, it's a bit hard to see, but they would be, if you wanted to hardwire the thermostat part of it, but we're gonna put it onto a stand. That was schoolboy error, uh, halfway through. Um, phone rung, I forgot to put it into um, silent um, airplane mode. So now we've done the wiring part of it. We now need to connect the thermostat part of it. And on this job, we're just gonna put it onto a stand. So what you do is you need to buy the stand separately and it comes with a couple of screws in there, you see them screws? And then we have this back plate here. So all we need to do, just use these screws here. And we put this back plate. This back plate onto there and then we just screw it on. Before we do that, we've got this wire here, so we need to feed this wire in underneath there and through back of there. So underneath there, through back of there, into this, and then that just connects in in there. It's a bit hard to see on there, um, so just connect that in. Always a bit fiddly when you're trying to do something on camera, but it's easy enough to do. So that's just in now, plugged in. That just screws onto that. And then this side of it just connects onto this plug here. So I'll just screw that in now. So I've screwed that on now. And then on the back of the nest thermostat part, you see there's a little plug there. And that plug plugs into that bit of it there. And it just clicks on nice and easy. So then, all we need to do then is get your plug, plug that in to there. And then we'll just plug this in to the mains. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just turn power onto the boiler and then I'm going to plug this in almost straight away so that they're both syncing up together. I don't want it to lose signal and then have to start messing about with it.
we can now set this thermostat up, put all the details into it once that house symbol comes off. And we can now set this up and it's very straightforward. You just click on, so English, UK, confirm choice, click it, internet, collect, uh, internet connection, and then just click, push it, connect. You could skip that if you wanted to. And then we'll just put all those internet details into this now. So that's it, that's his nest all done. Um, what you need to do as well is download the app and set up an account and then you can add an app, add this, and then you'd better use it on your phone then as well. Um, I really like the Nest, if I'm honest, I've installed quite a lot of Nests and, and I, I think they're really, really good. Um, thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, please ask in comments below. And as I said before, if you find my videos useful, there's lots of people saying, oh, they wish they could buy me a pint, blah, 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 all that type of stuff. And I'd, what I'd rather you do is just have a look in my community section and there's a link in there and you can add a donation to my chosen charity. I'd be very grateful for that. Thanks for watching.